Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to the Grievance streaming on Twitch. Tonight we are having our very first repopulation cast. I'm very excited. We're going to talk about a whole lot of stuff. We're going to try and not make it go hours and hours because we really could fill it. Um, right now, we uh, Grievance has a pretty good going. Oh gosh, yeah, see. I'm already losing it, people. <laughs> no, we've got a pretty good following in the repopulation right now. We've got our nation created. The game is still in alpha, so there's a little hinky things going on here and there. But we are having a really good time. But with me today, let me get them inter introduced. Now we have, I have no idea. Okay, I have Alfred August to my left, I'm pretty sure. Hi, um, everybody. <laughs> I'm hoping everyone's where they look like. Streak, below me. Hello, hello. <laughs> and diagonal, I think that way, is Fox. Hey guys, how's everything going? So, since we have a lot to talk about, I'm going to kind of jump right in. Um, <laughs> I am going to point out that I am not the foremost person with information on this game. But that is why we have the guys with us today, because they teach me everything I need to know. Thank you very much. So let's start out with, what is the repopulation? Is it an MMO? Is it Sandbox? What is it? So, August, why don't you give us kind of an overview of the basics of what is the repopulation? It's all, all of the above and a little bit more. Um, it's uh, basically you set your own goals and, and decide what you want to be and go out and make it happen. And, and that's the, the kind of game I've been waiting for. So I'm excited about it. As am I. So, Sri, what kind of things have you been kind of waiting for that you have seen personally? I know there's a lot of stuff in the game, but what are kind uh, of your favorite things that have come up that are most interesting to you? This game is, uh, you know, surprisingly kind of caught me a little bit off guard. Um, I am an old school MMO player back prior to the, the days of WoW and EQ2 when everything kind of went theme park. Um, back in the old days when everything was sandbox, that's really what I cut my teeth on. So that's what I was used to. Um, but, you know, when I started playing this game, um, I went through the tutorial, got out of the tutorial. I was like, uh, I don't know if I can do this. And, and then I walked around the city a little bit. And I, I swear, I almost shelved the game uh, because it was just, it was just, it was just amazing how many uh, years that you've been playing these theme park that you actually forget what it's like to play a sandbox. Yeah. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta stress. I cannot stress this enough. Anybody that checks out Repop, give it some time and give it some patience because it's hard getting back into the sandboxy type mode. But once you get out in the city, give it a couple hours, and all of a sudden it just starts clicking, and it's like. Oh, yeah, you know, I don't have to think about, oh, geez, I got to be, you know, <laughs> level cap in a week or, oh, know. you know, I got to rush to end game and you just uh, you just log in and you just play and you do things. So it's it's been very refreshing to get back to a sandboxy type thing. So it's mm -hmm. it's complicated in, in many, many places. But, uh, but that's why you have a good community. I mean, oh, if awesome. I think me and Yonia, Nyonia, I know both of us, when we walked out of that tutorial, we were like WTF. Literally, that's <laughs> what we were. Deer in headlights. I have no idea where to go now. You look left, you look right, and you're like, what? And so literally, if you it helps so much if you have a good community because, I mean, I started streaming it. Obviously, you could tell I didn't know what I was doing. And then Streak, I know you popped in August, you were in there, and seriously, I think Magic was in there, and you guys were giving me so many pointers, and then it was like Streak said, it was like, oh, that's it, okay, it's not that complicated, it's just getting that over that hump of, I am so used to XYZ, that's all you do, XYZ, XYZ, and this is so much more intuitive and self-driven that the game is so smart, it knows what you want to do, it's Skynet, people, Skynet. Um, <laughs> there is a bit of an information dump right off the bat, too. So it's, it's yes. once you get past that, though. <laughs> There's a little overload. But, you know, one thing I learned in the tutorial, do what you can. 
save your money, wait till you get outside and you can finish them up, but do as much as you can in the tutorial because especially things that you're interested in, run around and talk to everybody first and kind of be like, oh, I kind of like medical stuff or, oh, I really like animal taming. Kind of get the feel or if you're going to do, you know, what weapons you want to do, you don't need to do them all right off the bat. Kind of what you're interested in, save your chits, save your money because you'll blow through it. <laughs> in fact, it, it almost hurts you to take more weapons because of the way the skills yeah. are divvied out. It does, definitely. Um, if you take too many, you also lose your inventory space, too, because you get a weapon with every skill, so. Yeah, yep. and skills are just random when you complete your missions, so, and it's based on the what you're leveling at the time, so if you have a bunch of weapon skills and you're not going to, and you're looking for your sniper rifle, you might end up with a mace skill or something like that. Yeah. And it can get a little crazy. There's ways to sort your abilities, which I'm sure we'll get into later in the PVE area. But Fox, I kind of wanted to ask you the same question because I know you always start our embassies. You kind of you a new game comes out, you get us all set up. So you've had your toe in a lot of things. So have, what was um, he's got a lot of toes. I've uh, I've, <laughs> I've been I've been uh, subscribed to this game since uh, 2000, 2008, um, when they first started taking backers. Uh, it was out there before that, but the, you know it didn't start really taking on backers until about then. Um, I've been waiting forever to have this thing pop in and be able to actually open an embassy for it. So uh, inside the game, uh, I see a lot of SWG. I loved SWG. Oh, yeah. I played it for a long time. When it went away, I was really sad. Um, but now I think everyone was. <laughs> it's it, it's back. I, I even yeah. I even have a speeder. Um, it's it's amazing. The other thing that uh, I like about the Repop is the crafting system that's inside the Repop. You can go out and, you know, collect. You can craft. You can do just about... I mean, you set your your destiny in the game. If, you, if all you want to do in the game is craft, you can sit down and craft all day long and get your skill points up. And you can become a, you know, an amazing um, uh, vendor. Uh, that sells stuff to everybody on the server. It's it's just really cool the way that the game the game works. Um, <laughs> if all you want to do is craft springs for a rifle, you uh, can... I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah. been, we, uh, seriously, people, we've been crafting animal fat for I don't know <laughs> we, uh, about a week, and uh, we were able to get enough money up to be able to uh, purchase our city plot and uh, control center. Now all we have to wait for is. Uh, an area to actually uh, put it down. But yeah. Oh goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm um, carrying around this uh, city plot and control center in my bag, uh, and waiting. Is that for... heavy? Oh that seems, yeah. That seems That's like it'd crazy. be a, a little tough on the back. Make sure I'm you about, get that I'm about ready to strap at the Strigs back. <laughs> there we go. There That's we right. go. Well, you kind of touched on the crafting and harvesting and that kind of stuff, and I myself have just finally got the right tools. There are a lot of different um, things that you might think get wood for you, but there's certain types of wood on the ground that are piles and there's trees that are, you know. So I finally found a saw. I was very proud of myself. I found trees and I cut down trees, dang it. I the was first so excited. vibro saw? Yeah. Oh, you know what? It was, oh, no, no, no. I got a really crappy one for 10 like 10 gold. Or, I, I don't know the currency <laughs> like is. Like an electric saw. Yeah, um, the electric, it is the like, electric saw. I got the rusty one, that second hand. <laughs> I get really crappy wood, but that's okay. It, um, it's very exciting when you start figuring out all the little pieces. And I've been getting ore like there's no tomorrow again with a really crappy drill. Um, but yeah, you're you're kind of still, you get that feeling of, you know, going out and harvesting EverQuest, do those kind of things. But you actually need specific tools to do that job. Which I kind of like, because then you're planning, you're thinking ahead, that kind of thing. And then you know, people will rush you for trees sometimes. I've had some competition. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, wasn't very nice. He stole my kill, took, looted my body, and not my body, um, my mob's body, body, and then uh, took my tree. So I wasn't very happy. But um, yeah, so what's a, I haven't been as in-depth. I've made water and, and an ore. Or bar. So, what's some more kind of cool things? I know that you guys talked about making springs for guns and stuff. Um, basically, the crafting system works like this. It's modular. You go out and you pick a crafting profession. You get these books. Um, you start off with a very basic book that teaches you how to make the basic parts of, say, uh, um, you know, 
say we pick weaponsmithing and uh, within weaponsmithing there's a bunch of different uh, avenues that you can take. I happen to use automatic weapons so I went with, uh, with gun craft and uh, when you craft a gun you literally have to craft every aspect of the gun. The springs, the trigger, the the electronics that go on the gun, the you the know you're getting for the scope. Yeah, you're getting microprocessors and wires and capacitors and gadgets and gadgets and doodles and these, you know, and you're putting all this together. And in the end result, during the crafting process, uh, what gives you your stats is actually the metals that you collect out in the world. Um, by adding certain properties to the metal is what transfers over to your gun. So it all starts with mining, basically, when you start talking about crafting weapons and such. Um, the quality of wood that you use is a big, um, it has a big impact on what you're going to be crafting for, like, uh, swords and axes and things like that. Um, the crafting system is really, really intricate in this game. You can yeah. literally uh, load all your pieces <laughs> in, and then you move in stages through the crafting, syst the crafting system. And then all of a sudden, you'll come to this point where you can add in additives to your crafting oh, process, right. and you can refine it and upgrade it, and, and then you end up with the end result. Um, a lot of the stuff that is, you, you'll see really cool stuff running around in the game. A lot of it, you can only get from crafting. It's not a drop. It's not bought from a vendor. You can't get it anywhere but for somebody running their crafting up and actually putting it on the auction house, which is cool. It's a different way of looking at it. Instead of going out and having something drop in a dungeon, you have to actually go out and hire somebody to go craft it or yeah. craft it yourself. But that requires No more farming you. instances. How no, tired are we of farming of that. instances for none that stupid that. sword that everyone that always drops. gets? Has a point zero 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 one percent yes. chance of dropping, oh, and you've got ten people in your group that need it. <clears throat> one thing exactly. I love about the depth of the crafting is that you can start like as early as refining the ore into bars. If you're going yep. for like a pistol, you can start adding bonuses for pistol as soon as you start changing the, the yep. silver into bars or whatever you're doing. So it, it, as early as then, you can start adding bonuses towards the pistol and, and it just keep going from there and adding bonuses and stuff. And it, it just work towards one thing and specialize that all your, that whole craft process for that one thing. And then I think it's, it's going to be awesome. So if you get to the end result, is there going to be a quality of that end result? And if there is, can you change it by re -fi like fixing an element that didn't turn out as well as you thought? You is that can't. You can adjust the elements, but what you can do is you can add um, fittings to the weapon. And depending okay. on your skill at the time when you craft the weapon will determine how many different types of fittings you can fit into that weapon. I believe each weapon has uh, either five or six fittings positions. And each fitting is – the way that you adjust the fittings is by shape. So there's some fittings that are triangles, some that are round, some that are octagonal, some that are crosses, and there's all kinds of different stuff. But the quality of the item and the level of the crafter determine how many of those sockets are actually going to be able to be active on the weapon. So there is a goal for the crafters to go out and actually craft something at the highest quality that they can so that when the owner buys it, then they can actually either A, craft the, the fittings, and put them in, or they can purchase them off the auction house for somebody else that did. <clears throat> Sorry, I got distracted by chat. Stop got, talking, chat. No, I'm just kidding. We, keep talking. I get very uh, excited. I start reading what everyone's talking about. Th thank you, Lucci, for <laughs> uh, for verifying that. It is actually five. Okay. We have Crowing One, the community manager for the game in chat. How are you doing? Yes. Man? Hello, Crowing. Hey, excellent. From one blackbird to another. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and also there's a little bit in chat. Um, I'm just going to touch briefly just because I think there's some, you know, people are trying to f figure out the different levels. Crowing did say that um, the link that Nonya put in there, if you look at the bottom, there is some more information about the different levels. So if you're curious about like silver, gold, and platinum, just vi uh, visit her link and look at the bottom. That's what Crowing said. I, I, I do want to actually give uh, uh, the repopulation guys, the devs and such, uh, you know, some kudos over there. They have given us a, a number of keys to give away. 
Um, yes. So I appreciate that very much from the repop, and uh, definitely keep the keys coming this way because we'll keep uh, talking it up for sure. Oh and yes, they've been very active in the community in general, so that's just very, really great. Very, very, very active point of view. They actually I feel came to our first the guild meeting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they did. Yeah. I know my first stream, my first time streaming the repop. Um, <laughs> I went Boston, like hosted me, dumped everyone on my channel, and I was like. Uh, I had one person in channel, then I had 60. So it was the most exciting moment of my stream life, I believe. It was so, I love talking to people. You guys know I can talk to absolutely no one and still talk, but I love having people there to talk back with. So that was awesome, guys. And they are so involved more than any company that I've ever known. This yeah. soon, I mean, we weren't, you know, NDA just been lifted and they're already part of our community. And that's, that's awesome. What, what, what's cool about the dev team is I had an issue where I had, uh, I had gotten bugged and was locked out of the game. And just to give you an idea of the detail that the devs are going to to make sure that we have a quality play area and something to, to talk about, uh, I was locked out for two days. They sent me a brand new key, told me to go ahead and play in the game on my other account. Uh, that it would get unlocked and they would fix it. And I've been emailing the devs back and forth, and they actually fixed the issue, um, which is, I mean, that's that's awesome that they have that kind of a response um, <laughs> to the player base in an alpha staged game. I mean, that yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Uh, the the GMs are in game all the time. You can talk to them. They're they're open about what they're doing and how to do things. I don't think I've been on yet any time of the day that a GM hasn't at least been in there for a couple hours and then another one pops in a couple hours later. So uh, definitely, if you guys out there are on the fence about the repop, come in and check it out. You know, oh, yeah. make that make that forty dollar purchase because it's going to be uh, you know it's going to be the best game that you've ever bought in your life, and you're going to get a chance to be part of that. Yeah, and you, we've all spent way more on an alpha. I yeah. know all of us in this channel. Yeah. Oh, two yeah. games yeah. spent about uh, four times that and in, they were fun but i don't think i've been as invested in a game as this one and I spent 300 on one game <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that tells you something just spent recently. half that on the same game yeah <laughs> hey martin a martin just martin i call him martin a. he just came into town he hates it um yeah. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I mean, if it, it and plus, we're they give keys away. Watch the streams, follow them on Twitter, check out their Twitch channel. Um, a lot of times they host people that give away keys. They give keys away themselves. There's plenty of them out there, but for me, I can wait. I was lucky. I snuck in on the last, literally the last day of the twenty-five dollar buy-in, and NDA was still up. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I was like, I had no one to talk to, but I, I really wanted the game. I'm like, you know what? It's worth it. I, you know, I'm just going to get it and loved it. You know, like I said, that learning curve at the beginning. And then it's just like, oh, you know, I was so. like three days after the $25 buy-in. I was like, yeah, I, yeah, know, yeah. Yeah. I know, I know. I watched the trailer. and I was like, yeah, I'm buying this game. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, I, 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 uh, I bought in at uh, $50 back in 2008. So, <laughs> but I, I would have, I would have spent 500 knowing what I know now. I mean, yeah. honestly. It's worth the investment, that is for sure, to see the development keep continuing on this game. So I'm excited. Yep. I'm happy to be part of it, not far as back as Fox, but, or Neonia, who's been in it for years too. But uh, I'm happy that I figured, found out what was going on. And, it, you know, a lot of times it's, you know, your gaming community that you find these things. I think someone posted something. I was like, oh, that, that actually does sound interesting. Watch the, the trailer. I'm like, okay. Went to the page, I'm like, okay. I mean, it, yeah. it's that easy because you start seeing it. And now that there's no NDA and you see all the people streaming, how could you not want it? I mean, <laughs> it's great. And it's not um, even as pretty as it's going to be yet. No, oh, I not know. at all. Not at all. And it I still mean, looks great, which is shocking. Yeah. Even you know, the without other, the HD. <laughs> the, the other thing I wanted to mention uh, to people is when you first get into the game, uh, the game uh, optimizes your computer for a certain level of detail. Turn that baby up. Turn it up. Bring it all the way to max if you can handle it. Because once you do, things are uh, so much clearer. And I mean, you bring all that extra chlora and everything in, and it's just amazing to watch the animations that they've got built into this game. Especially when you drill, you're cutting down trees and you got leaves falling all over oh, you. As you, yeah. As, yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Well, the, 
the nice part is, is they they released uh, the, the patch that's going to be coming out later this month and they've actually implemented into that patch that the system when you start it up will actually start running your graphics card and slowly turn things on and and basically adjust it to what your yeah. system can run at, at an optimization <clears throat> level so that'll help yeah. a lot too said you can automate it automatically does it when you do a new character but you can do it from the video menu if you have an existing character yep once the patch goes live yeah it'll be definitely. nice yep uh, another topic and i know we kind of touched on it a little bit um with the city the city plots um but housing and again that swg feel and i wouldn't say everquest 2 in the sense that it looks anything like it but the ability to customize is absolutely um, there you have uh, instance housing, which everybody has to do from day one. You can go and get a uh, fly to your instance housing. But they also have um, uh, in-the-world housing areas that you can actually put into the uh, perpetual world. The That's other great. thing that they have is the city plots. Now, at this point, the city plots are, are a uh, commodity. Um, there's not many of them. There's a couple per zone. Uh, and they are in the PvP zones. So if you're out there and you create a city, make sure you bring a friend with you because there are some pretty good snipers in the game right now <laughs> that will sit. They will sit miles away from you and pick you off, and you you'll be like, I got hit. Oh, I'm dead. Um, you know, and it's these not guys, steel for the record. It's a different no, sniper. Yeah. And <laughs> for, the, for those people, for those people that like to snipe people, if you get a certain sniper rifle, you get this like really cool. Um, uh, crosshair that comes up and brings everything up nice and close to you, so you can see your, you know, you can see your bullet enter their uh, their cranium and come out the other side. So it's pretty cool. Uh, real quick, we had someone in. Um, I think people are kind of filtering in, which I knew was going to happen. I just want to recap kind of what we're talking about. Uh, this is the repo. I'm pushing my push to talk. How funny! Um, <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> such talking. a habit. <laughs> Uh, this is the repopulation, and it is a sandbox um, MMO, and uh, and we are giving away a copy today, so please stay tuned. Please follow us, because you get 10 points right away. Got to do that. Get points, or uh, yeah, we call them points, and that way you can um, buy tickets with those points. Um, so yes, do that. Hello, Alex Freeman. He's a, a big follower of the repopulation. He's in channel with us right now, too. Awesome. Uh, but yes, uh, Migs, that's what this is. Oh, okay. I was, I was just corrected. Our by producer God. just came in. <laughs> was, uh, the voice was in that, my ear told was me. That God? Um, was that God? Was that God? I felt like God was talking to yeah. me. Oh, they just the voice in Oh okay. my God! Now we look foolish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm sorry. I guess the ten points isn't happening right now. I apologize. I apologize. Um, but follow anyway, because we're we're fun. So, yes, I'm sorry. So I jumped in there. I just wanted to um... I'll give you 10 points in spirit. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, sorry to jump in there. I just kind of wanted to let people know, just kind of refresh what we were doing and all that stuff. And we're grievance. Okay, so, uh, yes, yeah, so the, yes, the city plots are all kind of right now. But I did read, which I was excited about, on the wiki, and I know things can change, but at release, they're actually going to roll them out in batches. So we don't have a reoccurrence of a certain game where the first two days or three days, everyone gets all the land. It's yeah. going to be perpetual for a while. I don't I don't know the time frame or anything, but they did say it was going to be batch. So people who come in a little bit later will still have a chance to get the plots. So that's good news. I like the instance housing. I'm okay with that because it well, looks like other, you can have neighbors. So I'm, I'm cool. The other thing that you have to remember is the city plots are uh, we can siege them. So just because you don't end up with a city plot in the beginning, think of yourselves uh, kind of lucky because then now you're going to be able to plop down a siege camp and siege the heck out of that city and take it over. So there's two aspects to this. Yeah, that's what I think I'm of it this way. To. You get the siege uh, equipment, you go in and you take a city and you actually officially take it. You get seven days of reprieve to be able to sit back and go, all right, let's see what we can change in this city before we get sieged. <laughs> and one thing I think I, sh I didn't, I don't know if it was made very clear, um, the city plots, I was using the wrong word. I was thinking of the housing that is not instanced. I was using the toilet, but with the city yep. plots, public, um, 
Public housing, that's what I meant. Um, but with that's those are the ones that are going to roll out in batches, I believe. But with the nation, uh, the nation is actually what has to buy the city plot. It's not, you can't just be a person without a nation and put something down, right? That was my understanding. Um, actually, you can be a person uh, who is a nation and put one down. Yeah. Well, they were, but they there were needs, a nation, though. They, you well, can't, I mean, you can make your nation own. Of one. There, there's uh there, there's some there's some things that i think that you know when we've been talking about that there's some definite um operational stuff that they need to look at in the background the possibly limiting um a nation to a certain amount of players uh when it's created so that one person can't go out gain the gold create a nation and then go plop down a city plot in a control center and just sit there and do nothing with it like it is currently in its state. Um, we have quite a few. We went out looking for a city plot and there's quite a few that are just sitting there with, uh, you know, a, a city plot and a control center sitting on it. So yeah. one of the recommendations that I sent in or uh, hopefully it made it there was to um, actually require 10 people to create a nation. Um, and all 10 people have to be on at the same time so that you, you know, they, they can't email the stuff to them. And then uh, in order to lay the city down and put a city plot down, have 20 people actively on at the same time and have to click a um, acceptance box to placing the city down. So that way it eliminates that single person from going out and monopolizing the server with a bunch of uh, free accounts. Mm. So, also yeah. Just an idea if the devs are listening there. It also oh, and I know they the, are. The name that's issues. Awesome. The name stealers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Ooh, what happened with issue. that? Well, Street could tell you about that. Oh, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm not pervy to this. Let's play that. Well, whenever there, they have, lo the, like, whenever, yeah, they, yeah go ahead, Street. There was, there was another game that came out where they decided that, uh, you could make up your guild names pre-release and basically anybody could take names that they wanted so you didn't even have to like get into the game level up go and create it you you could just Ooh. a month ahead of time just oh i'm gonna reserve a name and everybody starts stealing everybody's guild names and everything oh, that's was not okay yeah. no that was not okay that, that's <laughs> no, a very wasn't. Poor model. but that's a different that is a different game so we won't even we won't go any farther oh, than that. <laughs> okay since Dionia just mentioned it i have a feeling i know what game it is yeah because <laughs> i know what few game you guys were a good part of um <laughs> but yeah so hopefully you know it seems like they do listen to a lot of feedback and it seems like most people in chat are really on board with that it's like come on let's oh, yeah. i mean it's a huge deal and it's a nation it's not a small country town so why are we only requiring i mean for alpha and beta yeah i get it you need to get people into testing things and if you're by yourself you can't really find to make that group. decision you know I, yeah I'm yeah I'm a little less worried about that type of stuff because, as I was saying earlier, yeah. I mean, personally, myself, if you're a, a, a nation of one and you go out and steal property and stuff, once the sieging starts, there's no way a single person is yeah. going to be able to hold back a siege. So they're not going to hold it for long. Um, yeah. But I, I, I agree. I, I, I've always hated to see these one two man guilds in, in other games. So on, on that side, I agree with it. But as far as game mechanics, I, I don't think it's going to, to be very long before those people are just wiped out anyways. I, I mean, yeah, I can see ways around that, but I'm not going to say I'm... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, there are ways to beat that system, I think, but... I'll, I'll no. tell you something right now. We ran around and got lost and ran around more and got lost and ran around more and got lost. <laughs> then we found a city plot that wasn't taken, but there was sort of a bug and we couldn't That's drop our cool. city in. I, I kind of logged was, in. Wasn't taken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I logged in a couple of days straight early in the morning after resets, thinking, "Oh, maybe it's there." And I logged in, and it still wouldn't take my city. So, Grr. I gave up. I gave up. That's all right. It'll hopefully they'll just now. Can we siege yet? No, yeah. not yet. Okay, soon enough. Soon enough. It's coming we'll, though. We'll whoop them all and take their property. No, I'm just kidding. We're not a violent people. We're a peaceful people. No, actually, uh, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, uh, what we're planning on for Grievance as far as launch is a uh, rogue uh, neutral nation. Uh, we plan on playing Switzerland. So Yay. it's going to be uh, it's going to be an interesting an interesting uh, you know rollout. So 
Uh, right now we are uh, Owen aligned, but um, that's just so that we can learn the game and you know get the mechanics down. So. Thanks for all the follows, guys. I haven't wanted to interrupt, but we've had quite a few follows, and that's very awesome. Thank you for those. Um, oh, awesome. uh, Crowing was just asking, do you all not have a nation plot? No, Crowing, no, don't. No, we don't. We're all gone. We're, don't. We're They're all taken. Yes. Uh, there's a ton. Of, we went from every location in the game, yeah, and there right. are a ton of them that have city plots and control centers on them with nothing else on them. And they're yeah, diligent. Well let me tell you, they looked. <laughs> yeah, one of the old yeah. bug, one okay. of the old bugged ones um, is out in Ash uh, Ash Mountain area. Uh, I was standing next to it trying to put it down, but it's it's bugged. I don't think it, obviously no one else can use it, so it's not just a intermittent. It is a not working kind of thing. So. Okay, so one thing um, we kind of again kind of touched on <laughs> was you. our. Our favorite skills. Oh no! What? What, Matthew? <laughs> I missed it. That's um, okay. <laughs> it's a totally different game with totally different mechanics. Uh, this is a lot different. I did okay. I'm gonna trust on what I just totally missed what he said. Yeah, uh, Crow. If you could fix it for me, I'll go out there and stand if I can find it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I could find it again. <laughs> <laughs> is there yeah, a way to put point? As I yeah. say, are you able to add like POIs to your map? Because that would have been great. I found I a really have to nice pull up spot. The command list, but it's like add yeah. waypoint my location and then name it or something like that. Uh, yeah. See, I I kid you not. This every time I talk to you guys, I learn like twenty things. It's amazing. You just type in the wrong command, oh with the word waypoint in it, and it'll pull up all the right waypoint commands for you. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> definitely. Uh, tell I definitely. Got it. <laughs> Definitely, Crow, if you wanted to get with me in game, my uh, in game character name is uh, Gray Bear. With an A. Gray <laughs> with an A. I typed it so many times with an E, and there was no one with that <laughs> name. Nobody. No other, other Gray Bears. Luckily, I bumped into him in the game. I was like, oh, it's Gray Bear. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe the first day that we bumped into each other, I logged off in your face by accident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw, yeah. I saw, hey, Gray Bear, and all of a sudden I logged off. I'm like, oh, dude. <laughs> so that's how it is. All right. Okay. So um, kind of the next uh, subject I want to talk about were skills because this game is chock full of them. Uh, really, because you are um, a clean slate when you join the game, when you start going through things, yeah. and then you start building, I like building blocks upon yourself. Uh, so what are kind of some of your favorite skills and what are you kind of leaning towards? And why? Well, I had to build a basic skill set before I even started. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I build myself up as like a little bit of a, a hunter ranger. And then I went out and I started taming animals and stuff. And that's that's my preferred skill line right now is the taming, cloning. And I haven't got to the genetic engineering, but I'm really looking forward to the genetic engineering. Yeah. Uh, engineering. I usually am engineer of some sort, but I'm kind of not going that way. Streak, what are you looking at? Uh, well, since I dabbled into the crafting and can't seem to make much more than water, um, <laughs> I, I kind of walked away from that because my head was spinning. I am <laughs> supplying the crafters, so I'm, I'm finding I spend enormous number of hours either whacking on rocks, trees, or fishing, <laughs> uh, and then just sniping things in the head when they come around. So I think I'm just going to be a full-fledged harvester for everybody, and then I'm going to support our crafters by spending all of my cash on the auction house. We'll send you out <laughs> as a forward else. observer. There yeah. we I, go. I am, I am thinking about digging in. I saw the, the cooking has the ability to make beer, so I'm, I'm really Ooh. I'm like oh. getting crafting just to make lots of beer and, and, right. and drink. You know who, who to go hang screen, out with. The screen swirls around when you drink in games. Oh my god, stuff, the first so. time that happened, I thought I broke it. <laughs> I'm gonna be the drunken oh fisherman, I I'm think. Walking <laughs> side, I'm walking sideways and I look like something weird. It's all like, where I'm like this sideways and walking sideways and going from side to side on the screen, and I'm like, oh my god, what did I do? Oh no! Yeah, I was poisoned. Yeah, I haven't, even, I haven't even tried the fishing mechanic yet. I haven't either. I haven't I even found spear gun, but I haven't found water. <laughs> oh, I went spear fishing. <laughs> oh, spear fishing's fun. Um, you get down underneath the water, and it takes a while to f go to the bottom where the fish are. Um, they don't they don't move too much. I mean, you can sneak up on them and stab them a few times, and then they die. But uh, I, th I think they're supposed to move eventually. 
Um, hopefully. Uh oh, we lost Strig. Where'd he go? Uh oh. Oops, he's voguing. <gasps> he's voguing uh -oh. out. He's uh -oh. a little. What? He's, he's a. He's pulling an August. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> the it's gods have today. disconnected you. Oh my goodness. So oh, well, I Fox, guess. Do you want do you want to yeah, tell us a little? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to give you <laughs> all kidding. kinds of yeah, all kinds of information. Um, actually, I, I uh, skills that I picked up. Let's see, um, automatic weapons. I love to shoot stuff and make it dead. Uh, automatic weapons are the way to go. Um, actually, I was just told by another player in our guild that uh, artillery is the way to go because then you blow stuff up. But um, I'm going to stick with the uh, the actual uh, automatic weapons for a while. I tried rifles. Um, sniping's not my thing, but you know, sending thousands of bullets down down uh, the uh, way towards the enemy, the range. Yeah, yeah, there you go, range. Um, I've also picked up um, cybernetics. Uh, I'm looking really into hitting cybernetics really hard um, because you can basically create a cyborg out of yourself and give oh, yourself so all good. kinds of extra. Oh yeah, man, I'm going to buff myself up, mm -hmm. uh, you know, get that whole thing going. Um, the other thing I picked up is a lot of the gathering. Um, believe it or not, gathering in this game is fun. You go out, you find the nodes, you start gathering. I do recommend that you put two things on though, underneath the, uh, options under the game tab. Mm -hmm. Put on uh, auto, auto uh, forge or yes. auto loot and harvest. auto auto loot, harvest. auto hard, auto harvest and auto loot because if you do yes. not have those two functions on, somebody that does have it on is going to come along and steal your yep. node. Yep. They're going to suck it right out from underneath you before you have a chance to actually finish your uh, animations. Mm -hmm. So definitely turn that on. Uh, I had some guy following me around for about an hour one night, and I'm wondering what am I doing wrong? These nodes aren't giving me anything. Yeah, uh, yeah, he was getting everything yeah. that I was supposed to get. <laughs> and then I figured it out. So, I had you know, a dude follow uh, me around too, but I had yeah. auto harvest on. He was like, "What's going on? What's going on? What's going on?" <laughs> He's trying to steal yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, what he gets. Uh -huh. yeah. And you know, there's nothing worse than uh, the one thing that I like about the harvesting is you can enrich the nodes, or you can enrich yeah. the region. Um, it takes a long time to enrich uh, a region. And you can be there for anywhere between 7 to 15 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes enriching. And then all of a sudden somebody comes in with auto harvest and stops you right in the middle of what you've done. No matter whether it's 20 minutes or 30 minutes into it and they get whatever you've got. The worst part is, is now the whole region is en en enriched and they're going off on their merry way and stealing mm -hmm. stuff. So. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely a fun aspect of the game. Uh, you can even enrich corpses, which is which is cool. Um, so I have a lot of fun with that. Did I tell you I like like foraging and stuff like that? Yeah. A little bit. Streak, was there anything else you wanted to say after you poofed? I, I yeah, moved I on to Fox while you were gone. He also I'm like, he's gone. Like you beer. were talking about, beer, you were talking beer, about beer. 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 Yes, you're going to make beer for everyone and supply our harvest. Our... Beer and I dance. Ooh, I dance. <laughs> It's after oh, yeah. start to dance. So I am apparently Streak and I are going to have some things in common because um, I typically when I play these type of games, uh, other shooters by other companies, I try not to say too much about other games. So there's some other ones I really like. And I'm usually a medic or engineer or something like that. But they're usually preformed for you and you just swap out your gear and stuff. Um, I do like this in a sense where you can customize it just a little bit. I love the entertainment aspect. Again, SWG, that was that was my goal. That was my focus. I didn't really care about anything else. I didn't know how to leave the town I was in, so I just figured I'd be an entertainer. So um, uh, that was great, and I really – it's fun. I mean, you get a bunch of people going, and you're all in the cantina, and you're all dancing. Everyone's got these buffs going. It's I don't know why, but it's fun to me. I, I think it's entertaining. Um and then first aid, for sure, just for like, I sometimes, I don't, even, I don't even know if you're able to do this, but I like to drive by heal people. So if I see someone that's a little injured, I'll throw a bandage on them if it'll let me. Um, if it doesn't, you know, some games you heal them and you attack them. It's not good. I don't think that's the case. I think you could probably bandage people and be okay. Uh, and then the animal handling. I know that really doesn't go with the other two, but a lot of the games I've played a hunter, not so much for the bow type hunting and stealthing and stuff but for the animal handling um 
so I kind of like that idea. I like taming them, feeding them, training them. That that's just so cool to me. So I have a really weird uh, grouping of thing, and I'm I knew I was gonna I said I was gonna be a rifle woman. I have changed. I'm a dual wheel pistols now. I yeah. gotta <laughs> do it. Bad. Gotta do it. So that's what it is. So uh, again, you know, we're kind of we've talked about skills and weapons and stuff, but um, two of the big things really left to talk about are like the different types of combat that we have. We have PVE and we have PVP. So let's kind of focus on PVE to start, um, and uh, whether you like it and how you feel about the change up between the tab targeting and the like the actual FPS where you're aiming. Uh, how you feel about both of those? Uh, why don't we start with you, August? Because you're on my left side of my screen. And the, well, that's that's a good reason as any. Uh, I, I love the PVE. I, I'm like I said, I started out just as a hunter. I would just go out into the woods and kill whatever animal I saw, cut it up, and stuff its parts in my bag or whatever whatever it is you do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I would go out there and then just I started out with my sniper rifle and just fire from as far away as I can and just keep firing until they died. And it was it was really cool. But then I switched to uh, uh, pistol and shield. And I'm having a lot of fun with that because it's a lot more involved. You get in a little bit closer to the combat, and it seems to move a lot quicker. So uh, I've been thinking about switching to the dual pistols because I like the pistols so much. But so far, I like the pistol and shield. You don't see that very often, a pistol and shield in any game that I am aware of. Yeah. I, I, have, oh, I, also, I personally, at least I haven't done it. I haven't heard of it. So that's kind of cool. Something I also I found out you can, you can uh, it might be a bug, but you can... <laughs> Equip the shield and the health scanner at the same time, and the health scanner is not supposed to be dual wield. Oh, does it work? Yeah, as long as you equip the shield first. Hmm. Probably a bug. <laughs> I'm sure that one will be written down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Stree, how? What are? Your, which way are you leaning, combat wise and weapon wise? Are well, you know? I tried. I tried the tab targeting mode very briefly. Couldn't stand it. Uh, just not for me. Uh, I'm in that third person shooter mode. I think that is awesome. It works extremely well. Uh, I'm very happy with it. The game is is a little confusing when it comes to killing things because you have the the arrows that point up and down on the on the left side of the health bar that's supposed to say if it's easy or hard or something and and then they have levels and <laughs> and then they've yeah. got. They, if you hover over them, they've got like tool tips that say, oh, this is a minion or this is a strong opponent or this is a mini boss. And of course, I'm like plucking away at little fodder. And the next thing I know, I hit a mini boss that just mm -hmm. slaughters me. So trying to figure out what I can kill and what I can't kill has been a, a little odd. I mean, I've gone out there and killed uh, 25, 26 level mobs solo with, you know, one or two arrows up and no problem. And then I've walked outside the city and just been completely owned by, you know, three down arrow level one newbie mobs just totally spanked the crap out of me. So yeah, I got leveled I, by I, I'm not really I sure how you. that whole works. So <laughs> I, I, I'm just kind of winging it. I, I just shoot at anything. And if I start losing, I just turn tail and run. So <laughs> yeah, I was killing so far, level, level 18 mobs and stuff. And then a level seven mob stun lock killed me. So yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get you get like two or three of those level one mobs on you, and it's just oh, oh, forget yeah. it. <laughs> just yep. forget it. I had three vultures, rifle. and I went down. I was like, well, I'm in the newbie zone. Why are you? Why am I dying? It was embarrassing. <laughs> okay, like grievance. It, grievance now officially has a city plot. Woo! Nice. Sweet. Awesome. Thank you, Crow. We Thanks, appreciate Crow. that. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Crow, and uh, also to GM Snafu for helping us out. Thanks. Thank was it the plot that we couldn't awesome. get to work before, Fox, or was it a different I, I have no idea where I'm at. They, uh, uh, GM Snafu <laughs> actually summoned me, so uh, uh, once everything is over, we'll try to figure out where in the world I am. Awesome. We'll, we'll track you down somehow. <laughs> yes, yeah, thank you guys for that. That world. is awesome. That says another thing about the the just the class of GMs that we have here. Okay. Guys, these guys are awesome. Gone. They are awesome. <laughs> yeah, things you just never expect. I think we're just continually surprised. We're like, really? 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 So, yeah, yeah really cool. every time. Just blown away. 
<laughs> you know, I think they might have to look at Cameron. the the uh, perpetual, the outdoor housing areas too, because it looks like from what I saw cycling around, the housing areas that are out in the real world are like <laughs> a, a big area that you can place down a house and then you, you can put like multiple houses down there. Yeah. And um, it seems like you can, they're not like locked places. So it, it looks like people are out there putting down houses and kind of, shifting them off center so you're fitting down three houses when you could probably fit down five hmm. so mm. it oh, would be nice to I've have locked before. areas that would be nice like, by the way say great. say hi to my son uh he didn't realize <laughs> yeah. I was, my son hello he son. <laughs> his name's hi. Brandon. he didn't hello. realize he didn't realize what was going on he's totally <laughs> astonished that i'm on uh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know he was on, he's he's behind you he's like <laughs> 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 Oh, that was funny. I'm on TV. Kids and pets, I tell you, kids and pets. <laughs> surprised kids the dogs pets. haven't I'm surprised the dogs haven't come and visited us, but I think my wife has them corralled in the kitchen. <laughs> She's like, I'll oh, keep them safe. Uh so Fox, I don't you you announced the city, which is amazing. Yes, Thank you guys. We and have it. That is I'm very excited. So we're gonna end right now and go look. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, slope. Um, I am excited, but I will wait till the end. Oh, I almost knocked my mag. Gucci just typed it in the chat. Blight slope is the zone. Wait, yes, uh, it is. Yeah, it is. Excited. It's a blight slope. But again, um, yeah, I'm just. I, he just kind of like magically sucked me out of where I was at and put me right where I needed to be. GM pass. Right. <laughs> yep. I think it is the spot that we were at the other day, and I think somebody fixed it. Oh, nice. Uh, cool. cool. <laughs> All right. Hey, Dragon Stance, yes. Repop Dark, hype. Dark Raven want to uppercut your mic again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, oh, that was, it's so bad. It's on a boom, and it's right, and my chair hits it. I got excited, and I rolled back, and I knocked it over, and so, we're so together Dark, now. We're good. So, Dark, tell me, tell me something. How, how, often are you gonna, how often are you going to see us here? Am I going to see you? All of us. All of this you. This is a regular thing now. I would sure hope so. It is. I'm, it I'm, good. I'm game. I'm, I'm game. You know like me. This. I'm down. Go ahead. I'll be yeah. Here. yeah. Hey, it's my time slot. I can do whatever I want. Yeah. Okay. Right? <laughs> You're right. I, I'm saying that with authority. Right? Steal back me up. He's not here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is, I'm thinking this is I'm a good time up. slot. I'm here. You're here. And um, I will corral the other two. They will have to be here because I say so. <laughs> we started off bi-weekly, right? Didn't we? Uh, we said bi-weekly, but uh, you know, no, you know, was that decided? It, was I in channel? Uh, you weren't. We'll have to talk about that afterwards, but we'll yeah. be back. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. We're not going anywhere. I, yes, I'm way too addicted to this stuff. Seems there enough to where we can do it weekly. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. definitely. There's enough information, definitely. Yeah, oh yeah, I didn't. I started to read through the next update notes. I got half. There were two pages in our forums. I got through the first one, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I need to get coffee before I sit and read this," because there was just an extensive amount of changes. And some of the things I wasn't even sure what they were. I'm like, I need to figure out what those things are so I know what's changing. Because I read through the wiki, I've been just downloading information into my brain. You guys are amazing with how quick you process stuff. I don't know if it's like mom brain and I just don't process as quick as you guys. I don't no, know. No, well, <laughs> well, we <laughs> had amazing. a little bit. We had a little bit of time in the game to get our bumps and bruises. Um, yeah, Streak, true. Streak had his. Uh, you know, this is the funny part. Streak smart. He went out and he got. <laughs> that is funny. He's like, who? who? <laughs> no, not the funny part. The funny part's not any smart. He went out and he got his. He it's got. Funny he that out, he's a Panthers fan. I, I'm running. I'm running in the world to go find Streak, and he's on a bike. Okay. <laughs> see, see, I'm trying to catch up to him, and he's on a bike, and he's just going up over mountains and down around and all this other stuff. He's literally leading me through the world, trying to get me to him. He's like, no, no, little more left, little more right, oh, no, right up over the mountain there, and then, and you know, and the funny part is, is we got there. And then we couldn't drop it. And I was like, oh. No. So I literally left my tune there for three days. <laughs> I wasn't about to leave because I didn't know where I was. <laughs> so, but no, yeah, I'm back it's at, not hard uh, to get lost. That is no, for sure. I'm back at the same spot now, guys. So Street can find it. 
I, I was I was sitting there for about a half an hour with my sniper rifle saying, if I see anybody come towards my property, <laughs> <laughs> yep. taking them anyway. out. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so Fox, did you want to? Did you want to say anything um, about uh, the different um, targeting styles? I didn't know if you – we didn't really get to hear um, your kind of thoughts yeah, on that. Yeah, I, uh, I, I just – whatever comes up when I, when I have the weapon in my hand. Uh, sometimes <laughs> I hit the – sometimes I hit the middle mouse button and I end up in a mode and I'm like, oh, what is this? <laughs> um, the, the first person shooter is pretty cool. Um, you know, where you're actually zoomed right in and you're – you know, you can see everything going on. Um, I'm more of an MMO player, so I zoom it all the way out and, you know, I use yeah. my, I use my WASD to move around and, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, they do exist still, the WASD, you don't yeah. have to click a button. And what I like about this game is you can't click a button. You have to actually think to play the game. Yes. It's not point click. You don't have to. You don't have this magical button that sets your character up to level whatever and gives you all your skills and you know, voila, you're a warlock. Voila, <laughs> you're a warrior. Yeah. You know, you actually have to think about this game and actually put some strategy and thought into your your end result, um, which is cool. I like that. It's bringing the old, the old school MMO back into the world, which it really is missed for a long time. I've missed that. On so. all levels with the crafting, the combat. One, I mean, 100%. every aspect is like, I don't remember what things were that way. Um, my big thing is I thought for sure because of how programmed I've been into MMOs in the last, well, let's say, 10 years, they've all been very similar in, in how you play them, except for the one that was weird and I quit. Um, but I thought I would do the tab targeting. I thought it was going to be all about it. And then it was so confusing to me. I, I felt like out of my element for some reason. I hit that middle button and it was like the clouds parted. The sun was shining. I'm like, this is amazing. And it's, I've played a lot of first person shooters and this one felt more natural to me. And I don't even know. And it's weird because a lot of times you're in first person. And when I say, and I like to play third person like you, Fox. Yeah. And... I have noticed you can go extremely far back in this game. I mean, I oh, was yes. an ant on the ground, and I was so zoomed back. It was ridiculous. <laughs> but I, I don't go back that far when I fight because you can't. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm back a little bit, and it's very – it's just nice. You're off-shifted a little bit, which I thought would be weird, but it really wasn't. Um, but it is nice that they try and do a little something for everyone because there will be plenty of people that will use that tab targeting and be like, thank you, Lord, because I can't aim worth beans. Um, so I'm glad that they did that and they made it an option. So, um, but it is, it is a little funny when you're harvesting and then all of a sudden you get attacked. You're like, oh, ah, I, can, I push the button, push the button. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So there, I have that momentary panic. I'm getting better now, but it, there is always that moment where I'm trying to get my gun up and I'm like, okay, okay, I can shoot you now. My, I can't, I don't know what buttons to push. I'm panicking, but learning curve. Yes, but it is awesome. Um, you know, no, the... oh, go ahead. The mobs that are out there, some of them are very, very challenging, guys. Uh, really? Those little, those little pesky vultures that jump from one side to the oh other, and you, you, you got a good Bob bead and on weave. them. You got a bead on them, and you're, <laughs> you're you're really getting some hitting on them, and all of a sudden they just disappear in front of you, and they're behind you, biting you in the butt. That's <laughs> and you know. there's these little tiny pixie things. I don't know if you've seen them. They're like between um, this the main city and this little bar area out the main road and there's like this little valley full of little tiny i don't know if they're pixies but i got close enough and they all attacked me and i died i, I didn't <laughs> oh, even have oh yeah they're, yeah yeah and they, they attack all the mobs in the area too so they're not just after me they're killing everybody and i was like oh they're friendly do, 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 do. Boom, boom, boom. i'm like oh i'm dead yeah i've learned I'm there's, like, nothing, there's nothing friendly in the wild out there ooh. if it doesn't want to eat you <laughs> It, it wants to make something out of you. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. yeah you, and the you, aggro range on the humanoids is insane. They, like, oh. start charging up oh, over I the know. hill edge. You're like, well, how do we <laughs> even see me? <laughs> I've had bandits all of a sudden Happens. out of nowhere. I think they were in the mountain, though, out of fairness. Because I could see, and all of a sudden he, like, came out at me. I'm like, ah. Oh. He, he almost looked like a zombie. It was weird. He was you cool looking, though. You want to make sure you're pulling those guys back, too, because they have a wicked long call for help range. I mean, literally, oh, I didn't know you're, that. 
you got one guy sitting there and you're beating him up and you got him almost dead. All of a sudden he whistles to like 10 buddies over here and all of a sudden you get overwhelmed. And it's like, where did these guys come from? And watch out for the shamans and the medics. They are some tough buggers. Yeah, because they never die. No, I'm no uh, they're crazy. Um, one, I wanted to touch on one thing that was going on in chat because it was kind of interesting. Um, uh, Death Star, no touchy, had a question about will the game have uh, player guides? Kind of when in EverQuest, you all say it. Um, you know, you could volunteer and help the community and do things. I was a part of that for quite a few years. It was fun. Yep. Um, but it sounded like a lot of it was going to be um, driven by, um, uh, what is it? What did he say? Sorry, let me scroll back up. <laughs> he answered it really well, too. That's why I wanted to kind of read back what he said. Oh, uh, they plan on using GM support to run the script events and things like that. So oh, there yeah. will, yep. they will be there, though. So it, you're going to have not only the specific ones to you, but there will be, like, the surprise ones, the guy quests that pop up every once in a while. Those are always fun. You know, you know what I like? Um, in, in the last couple of games that we've played in as Grievance, we've had a lot of, a lot of run-ins with bots and things like that in the game. Um, hey, uh, anybody out there that plans on running a bot in the game, you don't know where the GMs are. And they'll put you right in jail, man. They put you in jail and they throw the key away and you'll never come out of it. <laughs> they literally created their own jail for the bots. Time out yeah. island. Yeah, yeah. They will put you there and literally they're not going to let you out until you prove you're not a bot. So yeah, good luck with that. Or escape or anything stupid like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's not, a, it's, it's not one of those prisons where you go in and you, you know kill a rat and grab a key and get out or you fly out of the top of it and end up, you know... You know, out in the world, becoming a pirate or something. Yeah, that doesn't happen. So, yes. you know, uh, Dash, I'm going to tell Josh right now just to go ahead if he wants to start the giveaway. Um, you, if you're interested in getting a free copy of the Repopulation, read chat um, is the best way to explain it. You'll see <laughs> a message pop up. Just follow the directions; they're pretty easy. If you need us to and you're really confused, we'll help you out. Um, if you do exclamation point points. No spaces, no numbers, just exclamation point points. That will tell you how many points you have. Then um, Grievance Spot will tell you how many tickets uh, you, you know, basically one ticket, one point per ticket or whatever he decides to do. I, I don't know what it's going to be yet. Uh, but just watch chat. He'll get that going. And while that's happening, we're going to talk a little bit about PvP because I personally obviously have not seen it. I'm getting killed by PCs. Or NPC, so um, PC. Uh, what is your guys' experience? Fox, I'll start with you. Um, have you had any PvP experiences in the game yet? Oh yeah, yeah. We were oh, out. Tell me about uh, it. We, we we were out looking for. Uh, we <laughs> I remember this uh, it really really uh, well because I ran into my first sniper that was using. Uh, he was using some kind of cover, uh, shoot and cover or cover and shoot. Um, basically, it, it literally camouflages them, and you can't see them while they're shooting on the first shot. And uh, th th this guy was following us. We saw him. He shot at us a little bit, and then he disappeared. And we thought, all right, we're cool. We ran into the PvP zone. We kept running. All of a sudden, two people behind me were dropped dead. Boom. Gone. <laughs> And we're like, all right, wait a minute, what's going on here? Well, guess what? Street come out of nowhere, and he jumped on this guy and killed him. And he, you know, and, the, and and I'm like, yeah, Street, get him. And then we went over and rezzed our people, and we kept going. But nice. PVP in this PVP in this game is going to be a lot of fun. Um, but so isn't the so isn't the other aspects of the game of actually coming. Uh, you know, going to the aid of uh, your alliances, and uh, you know, it's gonna it's gonna give us an opportunity to really develop a a, a great um, reputation on the server, as far as grievance goes. Um, if you're looking for a really structured um, somewhere where you're gonna be treated as a human being. Um, and yes. not a game character because everybody starts off as a human. Uh, you know, the digital world is great, but grievance goes way beyond the digital uh, part of the game. 
we have uh, live get-togethers and things like that where we all actually get together. We hang out. We, we you know, we talk about games. We do a little bit of, uh, you know, swimming and stuff in the ocean, maybe sometimes. <laughs> you know, that, that, that kind of stuff. But it's uh, it's it, you're getting a lot more uh, when you join us. This so. is definitely a fam when they say a family guild. Yes, we do keep some of the questionable things down, but it's family in the sense that literally that's how we feel about each other i mean you've got your brothers and sisters in here plenty of people reference each other that way so um on a daily basis mind you so it's not just oh come here i need um group a i need you to go do this and group b you go do that you report to me when you're done oh no 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 we have a very oh and there's two minutes and 40 seconds left and it'll be 30 seconds later so there's like two minutes left i'm sorry and uh <laughs> Got to got to account for that time. Got to do delay math. Am yes. I going to explode? I don't know. We might. That Cut might the be the giveaway. Oh, no. We're all going to die. Um, real quickly, the ticket raffle for the repopulation has started. Each ticket costs five points. You can buy a maximum of 100 tickets. I really doubt anyone has five. Well, I have 500 points, but I'm not raffling on it. So, um, yep. So, just if you have at least five points, um, you can buy a ticket. So exclamation point points. Keep going. We've got like a minute and in crap. I can't do that math. That's harder math. Never mind. <laughs> we, you have like a minute and a half ish there. Let's say that. You have so, the amount of time it says on the screen. Yes. Well, it's going to be <laughs> delayed for them. I don't know if it takes into account the 30 second delay or not. That's why I was trying to do the math. It'll, it'll be, uh... um, August, have you done any of the, um, the PVP? PVP? No. I have not gotten to it. Me either. I've just been killing animals and stuff, but I'm I'm real excited about it. I want to do the sieges and stuff. Like, um, yeah. A couple of games oh. back, I got real interested in wide scale PvP. I'm not, I have no interest in one v one through like five v five arena style stuff like that. That's garbage to me. But when, once you start getting into the wide scale and can use battlefield tactics and and you know strategy skill, stuff like that, strategy. yeah, it's it, it becomes so much. A different animal to me, and I'm real excited about it. Now, are you? Oh, sorry, I just whacked my mic. Hopefully, that wasn't loud. Um, with sieges, if we already have our home, how how can we help other people? Or if we can, multiple people go in on the siege. How does? Yeah, it, different nations can put down the siege camps to help or hinder the siege as they see fit. Now, is it one does more damage than the other? That's who gets it. So, do you have to be kind of careful? Whoever or is the first one? Oh, okay. Well, that's Whoever cool. Whoever puts they... down the first siege is the one that's going to get control of it if they win. Uh, but if they back out and drop out and say, oh, no, we changed our mind. We're going to pack up our siege thing and, and leave. Whoever the next person in line was that put down their siege camp will be the next in line to take it over. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. So you could, like, if you had any kind of alliance or a guild that you kind of been working with, even if it's not official, you know, you could always go help out them, help them out. So that's kind of cool. I do, I like... We are a huge community in general, but I do, we, every game we play, we just, we get along with so many people and I love that aspect. You know, I like to have buddies that just aren't us. I mean, sure we want them all to join us, but that doesn't necessarily need to happen because they, they got their own people. But, um, so the raffle is probably ended by the time you hear this. So we will have- All right, are we ready? Yes, we're ready. We're ready, Dash. Let's win, come on, yay. <laughs> Let's see who wins. Okay. You just did all that to a voice nobody could hear. No, now now they can hear me. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> so we have what is how many tickets? Two hundred and ninety-five tickets from nice. thirty-four viewers. There's some motivation. Yep, yep. A lot of people going for this key. All right, we're gonna draw the winner. Drum roll. I'll, I'll okay. paint them. Come on, nice forty-dollar keys, baby. <gasps> no touching. Yay! Sweet! Congratulations, Congratulations Death. That's very cool. I know he was, he's really been wanting it, so that's awesome. No, uh, just so everybody knows, um, make sure you tune in to our, uh, our uh, newscast because we have other uh, keys to give away. Yes. We're, we have other things to do. And if you so. follow us, a lot of us stream the repop during the week, too. And you never know when a dev might give us an extra key just for our stream. Um, so we can yep. give they can kind of be given out. You never know. If you know. So make sure you, and you see how involved they are. So, yeah, no definitely. Doubt. 
Definitely, they're very involved, and in, uh, I I can't say enough about that development team, man. They, yeah, I, we finally found a dev team that is that that aren't uh, computer run tunes in the game. They're actually people, guys, yep. and uh, they will listen. They will listen to you, and you know, uh, a lot of times they just pop out of nowhere. And somebody's been asking a question for ten or fifteen minutes. They pop in and they 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 fix it. They'll take you and show you where it is. Uh, they they have God's hands in the game. They can pretty much take you anywhere they want. <laughs> Literally, they can. <laughs> they do. Um, I know everyone's probably like, oh, the giveaways happened. But I want to touch real quickly because uh, selfishly, I want to know more about vehicles. Because I have yet to do anything with the vehicle. <laughs> I keep trying to get on that one. And everyone's like, that's not a real one. I clicked back and forth trying to get on one of those darn speeders. <laughs> And then I don't, one of you guys was like, oh, that's not a real one. You can't really write it. I'm like, what? So <laughs> briefly, just so we don't keep everyone too late. Um, how do vehicles work? Where do we get them? When do we get them? Um, well, it's all, it all depends on what kind of crafting you want to get into. Um, some, of the, oh. some, some of the items can be uh, bought um, from a vendor. Uh, but some of the more uh, cool vehicles... Uh, like a mech, um, you have to actually craft. So you can buy them on the auction house, but they're very, very expensive. Um, and just so that everybody knows, right now there's some there's some skewed uh, credit um, items in the game that they are actually in the process of fixing. So the animal fat, yeah, that's going to be a, a you know by the roadside real soon, and it's actually yeah, sulfur took a hit too. Yeah, there's a lot of things that when we first got in, you know, you could make thousands of credits in a very short period of time. And I'm glad that they're uh, actually fixing those mechanics because it could definitely hurt the economy if uh, those things are left in-game. But um, crafting is the way to get the unique um, vehicles. Anybody so just, just go see Lucci and he's got two of everything. Uh, I was going to say, because Nokia was... He's got this huge mech, and I'm terrified of it, but it's the coolest thing ever. And he let me drive it, ride it, whatever you do to a robot, I don't know. But I got in it, and I cruised around in it, and it was super cool. Again, a little bit of a learning curve with controlling it. I'm like, uh, uh I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going in circles. I couldn't stop running. But it is sweet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I mean, come on. Huge, giant robot. It's like RoboCop all over again, but still cool. It does tend to put you on auto run when you dismount a vehicle. I noticed that. It, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Minor tweaks. Uh, yes, but they have them. And then there's um, there's actual mechs that are more like pets too, though, right? The they're a little smaller. You don't get in them. And I read something on the patch notes today that I found out you can you can train a pet and turn it into a mount. Yeah, I saw that too. <gasps> what? what? That too. When did you find that out? It's in the patch notes, dude. It's in the patch notes. Oh, well, I was trying to look at those patch notes on my phone, and it's just, you know, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't yeah, work. It's too lot. bad. No, they were long. Yeah, they were. And a lot of graphical yeah, fixes. My eyes were, like, crossed by the time I got done looking at <laughs> half of it. I was like, all right, I'll look at that when I get home. I know. Because I, 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 I got up this morning at, like, 4 a.m., so, you know, it's like, yeah. So you're so. bright-eyed and bushy-tailed right now, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I do another overnight <laughs> tomorrow, so, yep. Oh. It'll be good. Well, unless there's any... do you go, Let's do just a quick wrap-up. If you don't have anything to say, you can skip it and go on. But, August, do you have any last parting words? Uh, just come check us out, man. You won't regret it. I don't expect you to have a handhold, but if you're in TeamSpeak, you, you just as good, so... Streak? Uh, I'm going to emphasize, just like I did at the beginning of the cast check this game out do not give up on it when it starts getting hard because it's got an extremely steep learning curve at the very beginning but once you uh get out of the tutorial and a couple hours in it it really levels right off and once once that clicks you know, it's it's so worth it so so just be patient with it and it'll come and and ask questions as many as you want Fox. <laughs> Um, all I can say is in the tutorial, make sure that you're very careful and you do all the quests in there because animal taming uh, is earned inside the uh, actual tutorial. And it's not so easy to find once you get out in the actual real world. So you want to grab it while you're in there. The same thing with the medical scanner. 
One thing okay. that I've seen a lot of players do is they pass up the medical. Yeah, you know, I don't need that. I'm not going to be a healer. Mm -hmm. um, you definitely want to pick up the medical and get it because even though you're not a healer, it's the only aspect of the game that you will heal you. So you can actually heal yourself um, while yeah. you're in the game, which is very important. Uh, the last thing I wanted to say is if you're interested in joining Grievance in the repopulation um, you definitely, and I know my uh, producer here is going to drop the uh, link in there for the forums. Um, Neonia did. She okay, actually already she's on top of it. Excellent. She I, I, you know, visit, visit that link, go in, uh, sign up for the forums, go into the repopulation application area, drop in a little bit of a short bio for yourself to let us know who you are and what you do, how long you've been gaming. We like to learn and get to know our members. Um, I am the uh, Grievance Embassy Director. Uh, I go out and I set these games up, and I'd really love to have you in the game. Come on in. We got a city now. That everybody kept asking me, do you have a city? Uh, they took care of that tonight, so we definitely have a city, and we're going to be building it. Um, we are not one of those guilds that is going to say, hell yeah, we got a city. Now you can't put your house down. If I got room and uh, we got places for people to put you know, their housing down, uh, we're definitely going to promote that. So, come on in, um, enjoy. You know, enjoy what Grievance is about. Uh, that's all I can say. I've been with Grievance now for quite a while, and uh, I'm going to tell you, it's one of one of the most uh, vibrant uh, organizations I've been with so far. Very rich with experience. Very, very, very helpful. Uh, we help our people, especially in times of need. You know, there's we've done a lot. So, we do a lot of fundraising too. Um, yes, yeah, we um, do. So, come on in and check us out. That's it. That's all I got. I'm not sure I could top anything you guys have said because I can pretty much yep everything you guys said. Uh, the guild, the game, you know. Um, I I'm just a streamer. I I love everything about the guild, the game. Uh, if you've watched my streams at all, you saw where I really sucked at the beginning, and now just over just like a week or two maybe now, it's the curve is there, and I'm learning. So if I am I if I'm getting it, no one in the channel watching right now should have a problem. Uh, so yeah, check us out, uh, grievancegaming.org. If you want to learn more about us, um, just click on forms and scroll down. You'll see the repopulation. So uh, what we might do. I need to check the schedule. I don't know what's going on there. I think there is something after us, but I'll see if I can squeeze in some time to stream the um, the city so you guys can see where we're at. But again, I can't promise that, um, but I will check to see who's up next. So thanks everyone for watching. Thank you devs for coming and hanging out. And uh, thank you Crow and Snafu for helping get that plot thing worked out. We adore you. You are amazing. Keep up the hard work. We appreciate everything you're doing for this game. And we will continue to support you. So, oh, yeah. yep. All right. Have a good evening. Good night, everyone. Good See night. you next stream.